Hello everybody, welcome back to Crumbback. So we're actually aiming for December because that is when the price is best for everything that we want to sell. Oats, wheat, dried corn, and I guess other things such as slurry and milk and, and all that. But yes, basically the grains. That's what we're trying to sell very soon. Before we can go through to December though, we need to make sure the cows are good. We need to transfer some slurry to the BJ and we need to do another feed mixture. So that is something we can get done super quickly. Okay, so here is the feed mixer. Let's just back this out of here. Yes, the cows are producing lots and lots of solid manure as well, which we will be using on land. Okay, there we go. And I can see they've used quite a bit of their straw. They do still have 35,000 litres left, so that should be right. Right, engage the PTO into the wheel loader. We need two hay bales, one straw bale, and then I think to the top with size. But of course, our bales keep varying in sizes, <laughs> which isn't helpful. Let's just dispense a few straw bales. Not too many. There we go. Right, this will be nice and fast. We'll just quickly time lapse this. I've done it many times before. And we'll also get the slurry tanker and we will basically bring it around from the pipe over there on the right hand side to the BGA just there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll soon find out. Right, well that's pretty good. Three loads transferred to that, and we've done a full load of food. So actually we can start to pass the time straight away. We don't need to wait for that to finish. So here we are in December. We get to about midday. Lovely, and we should find that they've now, yes, eaten pretty much everything I just gave them. Uh, they would have been empty otherwise though. And yeah, the price for corn is maxed out. 2,200, which is pretty much where we want to be. Actually, you've got to be in June uh, to reach that 2,300 figure. Um, but yeah, this is all looking good. So we'll sell the corn, uh, the oats. They are best in January, 1,800. Ah, uh, but we can get 1,800 anyways, so that's fine. And the wheat, 1,200. Yep, that's perfect. So we, yeah, we can sell everything. I'm just wondering what tractor we should use for the selling. Uh, kind of thinking the Zerian, despite its speed not being quite as fast as Fent, I think the Fent can do 32. The thing is that the Fent is um, not as powerful, so I think we probably would be safest with the Zerian on the big trailer. So there is going to be quite a bit of road work here, but this is going to be very interesting because we're going to soon have a very full bank account. So here we are at the dried corn, we'll get that filled up so the, well, as full as possible I'll say. <laughs> I don't think we have enough to get it to the top. So yeah, there we go. And the best place, I think it's all the way down. Yeah, I think it's all the way down the bottom. Oh no, sorry, this one is best at the fast food restaurant. Yeah, the fast food restaurant buys a lot of dried corn. This will be good. 34,000 litres. Which I think was all from one field, wasn't it? We might have had a little bit left over from a previous field. Yeah, did we really get 94% of a trailer? Probably not. Anyway, let's see how much we can make from this. Please, I went for the Zerian. It's a heavy load. 
Now, yeah, sometimes it is worth reversing into here, but I think we'll be okay going forwards with this particular trailer. Then again, I am usually wrong, so there we go. After a mammoth turnaround, we are now going to be in the trigger. Perfect. Yeah, really I should have put this production further out, but then it would have taken up a lot of space for other productions. So, yeah, you can't really win, just reverse in. <laughs> you can't win, just reverse in. It rhymes. Yep, yeah, that's looking very good. £75,000. That just goes to show how worth it it is having the dryer. Because if that had just been standard corn, it would have probably been twenty-five, thirty thousand pounds. So yeah, huge increase. Okay, next we have the oats. Now we have a serious amount of oats. I think over a hundred thousand liters. So this is going to be quite a big job. And I think it's the oats that do go further away. Like there's a place over there somewhere. But of course, I will be checking this. We'll uh, confirm. This load is going to be quite oaty. 104,000. Crikey, that is a lot. So, uh, yeah, up to the top. Oats and... Wow, they're close. Um, grain mill is the best, just. And I'm... Yeah, I don't know where that is. Where is that? Uh, oh. Okay, so it's right next to where we've been before. We are going to be going to the same sort of area every time. So we'll get this one sold and then we'll time lapse doing the next two... I guess. <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> oh wow. My sheep have been producing a lot of wool. Why have the sheep been sheared in the winter? Shouldn't they be growing their coat? Oh well. More fabric for us. I say. We've got we've got deer everywhere, in the sky and on the ground. Okay, there is our trigger. Let's see how much we can make from this. Yeah, the bank account is going to be pretty full, but we do have a field to buy in just a minute. 400, yep, we hit 400, nice. This is uh, really turning out to be a great success, this series. Okay, so not quite as impressive as the corn, and that was a full load and the corn wasn't, but 67. Still 67. Okay, we'll get the rest of them. Okay, our final load of oats, but we do still have the wheat. And we're about to hit half a million pounds. And I think we'll sell everything first, just to make it look as impressive as possible, and then we'll spend the money on the field. It's a big field. It's actually going to have to be drilled in spring, though, because it is obviously now winter. Not the time of year to be putting new crops in. But there we go. Those oats were certainly worth it. £61,000, and I hit that fence every time. Technically it should have been crushed by now, but yeah, the tractors always come off worse in this game. Even against a car, in fact, a car will stop a tractor dead. 
Right, so let's go get the wheat. Uh, we'll check and see where the wheat is actually going to, possibly the same place. Wheat. So it's all going to fit 22,000 litres. Very good. And it is going to the same place. Hooray! <laughs> Just to keep it nice and original. Right, good. Yeah, well, that keeps it entertaining, doesn't it? Take everything to one cell point. Although I suppose the corn did go to a different cell point. So we'll get back and we'll move that wall. We'll buy that field. The farmer who currently owns it must have harvested the parsnips or whatever. Something was in there. Carrots or parsnips. Basically, we didn't want the crop that was in there. Uh, a couple of reasons why. One, we don't have the machinery. We can't afford them. Well, <laughs> we actually could afford to rent it, but we don't want to do that crop because uh, the machinery is too small. Although actually there are some modded versions out now for those, so that's not too bad. But, no, the main reason was because we sold two fields with no crop in them, we just harvested them. So, to be fair, we are buying a field which has just been harvested as well. I think it would be unfair to sell a field with nothing in it and then buy a field with a crop ready to harvest. <laughs> it would be way too easy, it's taking advantage. So, yeah, we've got to have something which is empty. And it goes. Don't know if we'll hit 600. Probably not. No. But still, not bad. 585 in total. Uh, do we have anything else to sell? Milk, which we'll be doing at some point. When is the best time for that? Actually, we've hit the limit for milk. We did hit the limit, so there's only so much we can sell. Uh, straw, and yeah, it's just stuff like manure and slurry. So. We are done, we're done there. So what we're gonna do now is buy the fill which I wanted to buy, fill number 68, which should be harvested. Oh, they have plowed it for us. Okay, that is a bonus, nice. It's 307,000 pounds. And we still have 277 after that. So that's not bad. We're actually in a very comfortable position now, financially, which is nice, it makes a change. Oh, do we have a loan? If we have a loan... No, we don't. Oh, wow, we are doing well. Right, let's go and move the wall. We do have... a forklift here. It does, admittedly, have a bail spike on it, but that's not the end of the world. It does actually still work. We are just producing fabric, uh, and that is best priced in April, May time. That makes sense because that's when the best price for clothes is as well. Yeah, we don't have to tear the shop, so we are just producing fabric. Um, yeah, so we'll put these onto the trailer first of all, then we'll bring the wool across. They're so colourful. But these are still worth uh, £8,000 a pallet, I think. I know it's not quite the same as £30,000 a pallet with the clothes. But still, not bad. It's really quite good. We should actually put them on the front first, but anyway, I'll put them over the axles. Come on, boom out. Yes, it's surprising how well a bale spike does work for picking up pallets in this game. I'm not sure it would be quite so good in real life, but who knows. It's essentially just working exactly the same. <laughs> That's a pale spike, a pale, a pallet fork, sorry. Uh, pallet times. Confusing myself now. Okay. Not too sure if there's any more of those to spawn. Uh, probably not. Might have even run out of wool. So let's go and get those. I should really smooth that out a bit, actually. That is really rough. There's been many occasions where I have messed up the. My telehandler is running away. Oh no! No! Ah, it's a good job that fence was there. So, just really looking for a quick smooth out, I guess you could say. It doesn't look like it's doing much, but I think this is giving us a smooth out. <laughs> a soften. Right, there's, uh, there's where my telehandler ended up. Yeah. And, uh, yes, we'll, um, we'll bring them across. Uh, I don't know if we can pick up four, probably not. If we had extra long pallet forks, we would be able to pick up four. There's a partially produced one here. 
We'll take it anyway. Oh, we can. So, yeah, let's just see how far that tine's actually going into there. <laughs> it's the, the very tip is potentially touching the end of the uh, the pallet. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Well done, pallet. You've realised that physics exist. Well, somehow we're taking three. I don't know how. Oh, there it goes. My smooth out work though. I probably won't even go now because it's on its side. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, good. Oh, self uprising, nice. Well, that's helpful. In you go. Yes, these are being professionally delivered, I think you'll agree. Try and take two again. There's the track actually, it needs a good smooth out, it's very rough. Come on, Manny 2, you've got the power. There we go. Okay, and we'll have a look at our totals. Um, yes, where is that? Here. Uh, the corn dryer can be deactivated. That is definitely all finished. The fabric uh, wall is now just less than 5,000. Slurry is going to be processing forever because we're going to keep topping it up. So we're done here. Uh, I'm not going to sell the fabric just yet. <laughs> We're going to leave it outside, as you do. All that beautiful fabric is going to get rained on. And I think what we'll do now is just uh, fly to the new field. I think we'll just fly from here. Okay, right. We'll put it on to times eight. There it is. So that will have taken the farmer quite some time to harvest it and to plough it. But we have we have essentially got a clean slate here. Well, a clean slate with rocks in it. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, but no, that is an absolutely massive addition to the farm. Look at the size of this field. It's huge. We need some big equipment for this. Which we'll definitely be using because we do have the money to rent and to buy. Um, and that will be coming very, very soon. As soon as we can do this, we'll be doing it. So... I think we'll probably pass a few months. We'll have to make sure we can keep the cows going, though. We'll feed them, we'll sell the milk, do all that sort of stuff. Actually, we should really bring the uh, milk tanker back. I think it's been abandoned over at a cell point, so I'll go and get that. <laughs> and <laughs> we'll get it refilled, and we'll just leave it for the next episode. Um, and, yeah, it just doesn't want to be where it is, basically. It's still got milk in it. It's going to go off. I think I left it down here. There's a snowman there, trying to break in. Stop that snowman! Yeah, the limit should have um, gone now, because it, it, it must have processed what we delivered, I hope. Did I just go... Hang on, what am I doing? I've fallen out the track, so now I can't get back in. Right, okay. <laughs> this is going so badly wrong. Although, it always does. So... Let's try and find that trigger again. There it is. I was in it, wasn't I? Oh, I have hit the limit. Okay. Well, we'll move to the other cell point then. <laughs> Maybe we can get rid of the rest of it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah there is so much milk in storage to sell. Back at 300 again. This is great. This is going so well. Oh no, we've hit the limit, haven't we, again? We have hit the limit. Okay, this is a big problem, because there's nowhere else to sell the milk. We're actually now producing it faster than we can sell it. Well, faster than the businesses can use it. Not good. Not good at all. We're actually being too productive with the cows. And here we are, back at the farm. And the refill point is, like, here somewhere, I think. There we go. We're refilling. So, that is a great place to leave it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until the next episode, see you again very soon. Bye for now.